Welcome to New Fira Stadium, home of the Snuffalo Thrills. The city's tourism slogan, shuffle off to Snuffalo and die. It's very appropriate as the Thrills fans are eager to see their opponents buried today. Very popular honeymoon spot, too, Grim. When the honeymoon's over, do what those people do. Jump off the floors with the old ball and chain. Hey, anybody see my good smokes? The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Full Metal Mayhem bang heads against the Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. Second down and long. A great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, uh, this is a really violent game, guy. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, three. That's a big gain run on that. Third and four. Quarterback for a sack. <laughs> and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburner. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. removed without Novakin. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, hide the stash. On it. And it's first and goal here. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what 
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Three. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and five. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll... Yeah, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Second down and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third down and seven. It's another turnover for the defense. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, and he loses the ball along with his life. When did we become so numb to all this? I uh, honestly can't remember. Third and four. Hot one. Hot. Oh, man, what a perfect pass and a score. Ah, yes. You can tell this one must have gestated and burst forth from the chest of a wonderful chorus dancer. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's 
It's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. And they run it for a couple of yards. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. The violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and oh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the offense nicely done for a first down. First and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And it's first and ten. meets the explodable object. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. One, hot two. to play with softballs. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Hey, no game, no man. I can't. Come on, man. I have to get on the gap and get on out. You know? Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Washing bloody footprints off the defense's jerseys after a run like that. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I ride out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feeling. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense handed out shrinking pills. Uh, that's it. And he catches 
loses it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Next to me for Brad Cram with a ball that didn't fall out. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good returner to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. He's not going down. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. They're back up here on first down. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. It appears that the last rep was calling his stockbroker during the huddle, and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? First down and forever. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And the quarterback throws another pick. Should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the beast boost dirty trick. Second down and a lot. You can't keep a good mutant down. And he finds open space is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's
It's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 First down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. It's a six-yard gain. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. the punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And this field goal is certainly the warning sounds. Only two minutes left in the first half. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Cheered. It's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. First and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And that's just a great run for a touchdown.
The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He refuses to go down. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Yeah. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah. Didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. It's a devastating defeat for Snufflo. The Thrills lose at home by forfeit. This team has a history of bad luck from the Music City Miracle to its wide right. I know what I'm feeling. With my luck, I'll probably be reincarnated as me. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Dijon mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad slipping. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.